hey everyone welcome back to crown geek in this video i will be explaining that how to fix wi-fi not working on windows 10 and windows 11. this will be fixing all kind of your wi-fi issues like wi-fi network not showing wi-fi not connecting can't connect to this network wi-fi icon missing wi-fi keep disconnecting or any similar issues the very first thing that i recommend that you should check your airplane mood if you have an airplane mode on your laptop or PC, make sure that it has not been enabled. And if it's not enabled, then try enabling and disabling it. Sometimes refreshing your Wi-Fi, your network by disabling and enabling the airplane mode may also help. Once you are done, you can also check your keyboard if you have any kind of Wi-Fi key on it. Make sure that key has not been disabled. If it's been disabled, you won't be able to access your Wi-Fi and may have other issues. Once you are done with this, on your Windows search, both on Windows 10 or Windows 11, click on the search box, type trouble. From the suggestion, choose troubleshoot settings. The troubleshoot setting will be up. Click on additional troubleshooters. And here first you have to run internet connection troubleshooting. So click on internet connection that is on the top then click on run the troubleshooter this will start detecting the problem and let you know that how you can fix it like here it says please select the issue window should troubleshoot so i will click on this option and this will start looking for the problem and the connectivity and let you know that if there is any suggestion any problem that it will find it will let you know now in my case it says troubleshooting could couldn't identify the problem so on my end the troubleshooting failed to find any kind of issues so if you get any suggestion then follow that accordingly and once you are done close it now scroll down a bit and you will find network adapter click on it then choose run the troubleshooter and now it will ask you that what kind of adapter you want to uh, diagnose what you want to troubleshoot so if you have the Wi-Fi, you can go either with the Wi-Fi or can go with all network adapters. Okay, so let me go with first with Wi-Fi, then hit on next. And it says connect to Shabazz 5G automatically. That is my uh, SSID, my Wi-Fi name, automatically in the future. Your PC isn't set up to connect automatically to this network. Select apply this phase to connect automatically. So you can see that probably you will be getting such kind of suggestions. So what you have to do, click on apply this fix. And wait until this has been completed. And once done, you will get this message. Troubleshooting has completed. The computer is set to manual connect to and the issue is resolved. Now once you are done with this, you can go back and check that if your Wi-Fi problem has been fixed. And if not, then what you have to do next, click on your search box type ncpa.cpl from the suggestion choose ncpa.cpl control panel item and now this will bring up all the network adapters that you have on your pc you have to look for the wi-fi and you have to try disabling and enabling the wi-fi adapter so if you see the wi-fi adapter here then make a right click on it click on disable and this will be grayed out just wait for a few seconds again make a right click on it choose enable now in case you do not see the wi-fi adapter here and that exactly your problem is then you do not need to worry follow the next step the coming upcoming step and that will be surely fixing the problem all right so once you are done after trying disabling and enabling check back if the issue is resolved and if not then you have to reset the network so right click on your windows icon then choose settings then click on network and internet now scroll down and you will find here an option network reset so click on network reset then click on reset now but before clicking on reset make sure that you remember your wi-fi password because the next time when you'll try to connect to your Wi-Fi, it will be asking for the Wi-Fi password. All right. So once you are sure you know the password of the Wi-Fi, you can click on reset now. And after that, restart your PC and try to connect again to your Wi-Fi and check that if the problem has been fixed. And if not, then you can close it. 
now make a right click on the windows icon again choose device manager the device manager will be up here you have to look for the network adapters here it is double click on it now you can try here a couple of things like first you can try updating your network adapter and if it's already updated then you can try rolling back to your adapter to the previous version where it was working fine and then you can also try uninstalling and reinstalling the network adapter okay so we'll try all of them so first look for your intel wi-fi adapter make a right click on it choose update driver then click search automatically for drivers and now in my end it say the best driver for your device are already installed so i have already the updated version so what i can do the next i will make a right click on it choose properties then, then click on driver and here you will find an option rollback driver so you have to click on rollback driver and you can choose any of the option then click on yes and this will be roll back to the previous version where your wi-fi was working fine okay now in case if you do not see this rollback driver option then click on update driver then click on browse my computer for drivers then click on let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer and from here you can choose a wi-fi driver that you had at the time when it was working fine okay so you can choose any one of them and then click on next and just install it and after that you can check back that if the problem has been fixed all right so once you are done with this part as well and still if it's not working then what you can do again make a right click on it and choose uninstall device then click on uninstall and after that restart your pc and once you restart your this wi-fi adapter will be automatically installed and after that check back again that if your wi-fi issue has been fixed and if not then we have a couple of more methods you can click on close again come to the network adapters right click on the wi-fi and choose properties now here you will see an option of power management now here you will get an option allow the computer to turn off this device to save power so if this option has been checked and if your wi-fi keep disconnecting if you have any similar issues just because that it's just turning off your wi-fi to save the power okay so what you have to do you need to uncheck this option so come to power management and make sure that this option has not been checked then click on ok and now you can close your device manager all right so now we have to run few command that will be related to your network and the dns so click on your search box type cmd then choose run as administrator the black window will be coming up now all the command that you have to run you will find in the description you need to copy them one by one and paste here so the first command will be netsh net winsock reset catalog then hit enter and it says you must restart the computer so we will complete all the commands and then finally we will make a restart the next will be netsh net int ip space reset and then space reset log.txt hit enter so the third one will be ip config space forward slash plush dns hit enter again and now all set you have to close it and now make a restart and check again that if the problem of the wi-fi has been fixed or not and if not then you have to check few network services on your windows 10 and windows 11 that they are properly running or not if they are has been if they are being stopped or not working properly then you may have the wi-fi issues click on your search box type services from the suggestion choose services app now the very first service that you have to look here will be dhcp services so you can scroll down and look for dhcp client double click on it 
and make sure that it's been the startup type has been set to automatic and the service status is running if it's been stopped then you have to start it once you are done with this close it the next one is wlan auto config so you can scroll down and look for wlan auto can config here it is double click on it and again check the startup type should be set to automatic and the status should be to running if it's been stopped then this stop will be grayed out and the start option should be highlighted so you have to click on the start then click on ok and that's it so that's what you have to assure that these all the services are running properly the next thing that you have to do again click on the search box type here ncpa.cpl then click on open or choose ncpa.cpl control panel item now go to wi-fi adapter make a right click on it choose properties double click on internet protocol version 4 and then make sure that this op if this option has been set to obtain dns server address automatically then you can go with this option use the following dns server address where you can type this preferred and the alternate dns server that belongs to google so it will be 8.8.8.8 in the preferred DNS server and in the alternate you have to type 8.8.4 and 4 and 4 okay now if it's already set to this option then you can go with obtain DNS server address automatically okay so once you are done close it now here you have to make sure the client for Microsoft network has been unchecked then there is a Microsoft network adapter multiplexer protocol this option should be unchecked and internet protocol version 6 you can also uncheck this option then finally click on ok and close it the next thing that you also need to try that you have to assure that the proxy server has not been enabled if the proxy has been enabled you will have several issues while connecting to the internet like wi-fi not connecting or connected but very slow internet that kind of issues can be there so click on the search box type here inet tpl.cpl from the suggestion choose this item control panel item you will be getting the internet properties now here click on the connections tab from the top then click on lan settings and make sure that this option has not been set to use a proxy server for your lan if this option has been checked then you will have several issues related to your ethernet to your wi-fi or probably with the slow internet issues so you have to uncheck this option then click on ok you have to uncheck all of them if it's been set to automatically detect setting then it's fine or you can just uncheck all of them then click on ok then click on ok again now once you are done with all these settings kindly restart your pc and I'm very sure that your Wi-Fi not working, not showing any kind of related issues will be fixed on your Windows 10 and even on Windows 11. So that's all guys. Hopefully this will work for you. And if yes, do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel before leaving the video. And I see you in the next session. Bye bye.